Hello, hello YouTube. Today we're going to look at how to get started with the liquid templating language. So what is a templating language? Well, a templating language is something that allows you to add logic into your templates, so into your HTML markup. If you've never worked with a templating language before, don't worry, we're going to start with at the basics. If you have, you might be able to get through a lot of these videos very quickly, but it'll definitely help you get up to speed with Shopify's templating language. So Liquid for Shopify. Shopify developed Liquid. It's sort of the backbone of Shopify's themes, and if you want to build a front end on Shopify, you need to know Liquid. Now, how long has Liquid been being used? Is it really this like tried and true templating language? Yes. Liquid's actually been used in Shopify since 2006 and is now used by many other hosted applications. There's actually different versions of Liquid. So you can take a look at Liquid and Jekyll and many other web apps that are using Liquid for their own purposes as it's an open source templating language. Now, Liquid in Shopify specifically is what we're going to be looking at in this video as an introduction. And in future videos, I'll be showing more details on Liquid specifically for Shopify. So you can really dive in and learn Liquid. What is Liquid for Shopify composed of? There's really three key parts to Liquid, specifically Shopify Liquid. There are objects, there are tags, and there are filters. So objects tell Liquid where to show content or how to show content on the page. So when you have variables that you want to insert into the page, you can use objects. Objects can be shown on the page with double curly braces. So you have open two curly braces, close two curly braces, like you see here on the right. Liquid also allows you to use tags. Tags can create logic and control flow for templates. So the, the tags are really where you get more of that programming sort of logic language into your template. Okay, so with tags, we can do three different things. We can do control flow, we can do iteration, and we can do variable assignment. Now, anything that you put in a tag will not be shown in your markup, or anything you put between a tag, sorry, I should say, will not be shown in your markup. As you can see here on the example to the right, we have a tag denoted by the open squiggly brace, percent symbol, the logic that you wanna use inside your tag, percent symbol, closing curly brace. And then we can do things like if or iteration or variable assignment. And this won't be shown in your markup. Finally, we have filters. Filters can change the output of a liquid object. So when you're outputting your say product title, you could then change that so that it is all uppercase or it is all lowercase, or maybe you're outputting a list of, I don't know, descriptions on a product, you could take those and you could sort them so that they show in a specific order. This is what filters can do and they're very powerful because you can chain filters together. So the way that you use a filter, as you can see on the right, is by using the pipe symbol, that up and down straight bar symbol, after your object, and then you write the name of the filter that you want to use. So for example, uppercase. But then you could also add another filter after that to continue on and apply additional filters to the object. So you can really change your object's output using filters. So I hope that gave you a good understanding of sort of the overview of the Shopify Liquid templating language. Check out our next video on objects in order to really dive in and start working with the Liquid language. Thanks.